What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Paul. If you guys are new here, if you guys aren't new here and you guys have been following the series, going to be continuing some Minecraft, as you guys can tell by the title and or thumbnail. So we're going to jump right into it. So I play a little bit per usual. Can't stop me from playing. Honestly, love the game too much. I just don't want to edit as much footage as I'm playing. But I will be giving you guys the tour real quick of the things that we've done in between last episode and what we're going to be doing in this episode. First of all, last episode we left off, uh, we started Turtle Farm. That has been very hit and miss since we started it. Super frustrating. I However, I think I've gotten it down as to what I need to do and how to do it. Second of all, we made an enchantment table. Got a lot of leather. I'm going to show you guys how I got a lot of leather in a minute here. Made some books and stuff like that so that we're able to enchant some goodies. I'm level 31 still. I haven't done the enchantments because I wanted to do that with you guys. Also, so this. So I meant to do this during the episode, but I actually struggled so much with this. It was so frustrating that I ended up I ended up cutting it out. I tried watching some videos on like how to do it and stuff, and it just like wasn't really making sense. A couple of you guys commented how to do it and stuff. Then it started like clicking a little bit i was like oh, okay uh basically just like all the way up using like the the seaweed or whatever all the way up so i mean for now it looks pretty cool Ooh, almost missed the most important part let me show you guys something real quick here go on inside i made a second floor now this i'm not sure how i feel about the staircase i was thinking about making a spiral staircase right here going up let me know which one's gonna be cooler because this i it just looks so long and funky i have this little hidden chest with my goodies in here don't tell anyone Okay, secret. Going upstairs, we have absolutely nothing. I don't know what to do with this room yet. I'm basically just gonna keep expanding upwards. The next floor is gonna expand out like maybe a block or two. It looks very ugly right now, but I think once it expands out one more block, it'll look cool. Oh yeah, here, so, so. Remember last episode, I was getting some leather to make a book. I went back over there and I got some cows and I brought them over here. And ever since then, they've just been having a party. Gosh dang, they're so loud. Uh, so the turtle farm. Oh, hey, look, we have a traveling merchant. Let's go talk to that guy. I haven't seen him yet. Hey, you. Hey. Huh? <laughs> So this guy's got green dye, purple dye, allium, cyan dye, red dye, and packed ice. Cyan dye is pretty cool. However, I don't want to pay him any emeralds. Oh, doesn't this guy have leads? Did he lose them somewhere? That's not my turtle. What in the world was that? Oh, it's a drum? Is he the one who made the sound? That sound was terrifying. There's no way he's the one who made the sound, right? Uh, well, this guy lost his lead somewhere and I want him now. And I don't know where he lost him. Uh, so turtles. Ooh, actually, these are about to hatch. And so are these. You guys kind of warned me as well as I very, very quickly observed. Yeah, the zombies will stomp out the turtle eggs and stuff like that and ultimately kill my turtles. I actually put walls around right here because the fact that it seemed like they were getting out through the fence or something like that. Because every time there would be like eggs and stuff after I blocked it all off, like there shouldn't be anything getting out. But for some reason, I'd come over here and there'd be no big baby turtle and the eggs are gone. So I'm like, what's, are they destroying the eggs or what's going on here? I got so confused. So I pretty much just like blocked it all off, seeing what happens. There's zero chance zombies get into this now. Also guys, I think I'm gonna make the official switch. I know we wanna get dumb thick. Uh, we wanna eat a lot of bread for our diet, but honestly, potatoes are pretty clutch. These things, I hit one of these things, five potatoes. Like I'm definitely switching my diet. Also I'm Irish, so it, it just makes sense that I eat potatoes. Oh, your boy's Irish and he loves these potatoes because it's like i break all this and then i get seeds and uh, it just turns into so much work besides that's like the animal food you know i'm just gonna keep giving that to the animals they are so loud so for this episode though what we plan on doing here is uh we're gonna work on the turtle farm a little bit uh we're gonna do some enchant not sure uh if i want to do them just yet or not but yeah so what we plan on doing today is we're gonna make a fish farm so the fish farm has kind of blown up and a lot of people have done it and honestly from what i've observed it looks pretty cool so if you guys don't know what the fish farm is is this going to be definitely a treat for you? If you guys do know what the fish farm is, then you guys know how broken it is and how insanely boosted I'm about to get real quick in Minecraft. So the fish farm, I need a place to make it, first of all. And I was thinking about clearing out the cave below my house and making a floor that goes downstairs. At the same time, I was thinking about making that the chest room. What if it goes chest room and then it goes to the uh, fish farm? For now, let me uh, grab some potatoes. So we have some diamonds. We have five diamonds. I'm thinking about getting some more diamonds and getting kitted out. You guys commented down below in the last Last video saying that I ran past diamonds, but when I rewatched it, it was actually just uh it was iron underneath water. I'll still go look just in case, you never know. So as you can see, I've mined out a couple of uh couple of things. Wait a second. No, I'm just kidding. I already knew these were here. I just wanted to break them on camera because then it'd make it just that much better. <laughs> so yeah, I've been vein mining a lot. <laughs> Dang, dude, I got eight diamonds out of that. Woo! 
Ooh. I've been mining a lot because the fact that I need diamonds, I need to get kitted out as soon as possible on hardcore mode. Iron armor just does not cut it. So what I want to do though is I want to enchant my diamond pickaxe. I'll hopefully get a uh, luck so that we're able to get more diamonds out of every single diamond that I mine. Let me go check it out real quick. Let's see what we can get with these enchants. I'm gonna make an anvil real quick. All right, so we got a little anvil. Um, <laughs> bang ding. I want to repair my uh, diamond pickaxe real quick. Eh. Oh, it costs two levels. All right, we're not we're not repairing it. We're not doing that. I might as well make a new one, right? Let's see what we could even get out of this. Because in total right now, I have 13 diamonds. I'd get efficiency four, which is pretty good. And it might luckily roll luck but if it doesn't that's gonna suck so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna reset those by dropping in an iron pickaxe because all these enchants will go to any pickaxe as long as it's a pickaxe you'll you could get those enchantments so i might re-roll this set of three and see if i get something better than efficiency efficiency is really good but if it doesn't come with like unbreaking or something else that's good then it's like yeah it's gonna be blown through it even faster then so i'm gonna reset it by enchanting this iron pickaxe with unbreaking and then now we're gonna drop this one back in here and it's efficiency four still <laughs> Just a moment, guys. No worries, not to worry. We're gonna see here and do this and boom. Okay, now we're gonna try that one more time. We're gonna see if I get something new now. And we're gonna drop you back in there. Efficiency three, it got worse. Okay, guys, we're gonna end up with a lot of enchanted pickaxes. Hold on a second. We might be making a big mistake here. Maybe I should have just taken what I got. Okay, so now, oh, I'm below level. And it's efficiency four again. Yeah, we might have to just bite the bullet and do efficiency four. I could go level up pretty quick, no big deal. I need to level up now though. And it's nighttime. So real quick, gonna try to level up one more time. I guess it was nighttime. I could have just battled people. Ooh, actually, I have a really good idea how to get XP real quick without having to go in the nether and risk my life and my playthrough because getting the quartz last episode was a little bit scary. Also, we're probably gonna make a, a farm soon, like an automatic farm. You get a decent little bit of XP out of this. Yeah, everybody love each other. Oh yeah, look at us. We're almost 30. We're almost level 30. You in the back. Don't feel left out. Join the party. Oh, they're pushing. I can't control it anymore. I can't control it. Oh, don't worry. You guys look a little left. Out. Got to level 30, so that's pretty sick. I don't know what it is. I just don't want efficiency. I know I could get something better than efficiency, you know? We're gonna YOLO it real quick, and I'm just gonna enchant it. Okay, maybe just one more, you know? Okay, I'm addicted to seeing if it's gonna change, okay? Sorry. We're gonna do one more, and we're gonna see if efficiency is gonna change into luck, okay? I just really want luck. It stayed efficiency, and now I'm not level 30. What did I even get on that one? Oh, efficiency 2 and unbreaking. I got new, uh, new little secondhand pickaxe. Gotta go level up again, and all the animals are on uh, cooldown because they've had too much good time. Pretty much just gonna real quick grab like redstone, miscellaneous stuff like that. I, I, I punched a bunch of uh, things. What? My oh my, look at this. I had no idea these were here. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. There's a couple more patches like that, but I don't want to get them until I get luck. That's the only thing. I honestly don't even remember where all the diamonds are. I found like a couple packs of them and I just, I have no idea where the rest are. <laughs> that was the only one that I really remembered. Wow, you get a lot of XP out of mining diamond. I'm about to flex so hard on all, every villager. Just watch guys. There we are, level 30. All right, let's head back up and uh, let's do our enchant to our diamond pickaxe. Honestly, at this point, I'm just gonna make a new one. Not gonna lie to you guys, I'm gonna waste some diamond on hardcore. <laughs> oh my, what is this? Straight ahead, what are the odds? Oh, we're gonna come back for those though. Hopefully we get luck and we'll see what happens. What is that? Oh, it's the salesman. That scared me. That actually scared me. I was, I was like, what's gonna kill me? Wait, this is different. This is new. Black dye, lily pad. Yeah, I mean, none of this looks great. I mean, the coral block is kind of cool, I guess. Puffer fish. I can make an underwater breathing potion with puffer fish, or I can just fish one. I am making a fish farm. I got 18 diamonds and I got more on the way. And if I get luck, even more on the way. Wait, what am I doing? Why am I, I'm instinctively just making an iron pickaxe. So efficiency four, let's see if it rolls something else with it. Fortune two brothers, oh. That's the best, uh, that's a good feeling. Okay, I'm gonna put the rest back for now. 15 extra diamonds, and then we got all these enchanted boys right here. Let's go get the rest of those diamonds real quick. I'm about to get so much diamond, I might actually get kitted out. So I'm gonna mine around this diamond real quick, gotta make it look all pretty and set up. So we see, we see here that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. That's a lot of diamonds to begin with. So I mined this one. I got three out of the one. Fortune two is pretty good. Let's just see. So we saw eight diamonds. I got double the diamonds out of that. Oh my gosh. That's amazing, actually. Now all I got to do is try to remember where the rest of them were. I don't remember where I saw more diamonds. I think there's some more diamonds down here where I found the uh, the one on the floor. Oh, wait. Is that it? Yep, there it is. Perfect. Ooh, yeah. We got a lot here. So now... 25 diamonds. Oh guys, life is so good. Is that below me or above me? Is it next to me? Gotta be above me. It's been louder right here. Oh, it is, it's right there. Do I go up there? Do I risk all these diamonds in the playthrough just for this cave? <laughs> I mean, TBA is probably gonna go up there. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, zombies dead. Should we go? Everyone, I'm not freaking out. You're freaking out. It's literally just a tiny little cave. All right, kids, get your things. We're leaving. So now that we're rich and we have a lot of diamonds, what I want to do is I want to work on that fish farm. And with the fish farm, what we're going to end up doing is... Oh gosh, these guys are doing 360s on me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Neighbors are getting a little aggressive for the diamonds. I know. Now step off me. I want to make the fish farm so that I get mending. Now, mending is a pretty OP enchantment. I'm not going to look at that guy yet. I'm going to look at that enderman. I know I need your pearls, but we're not ready. Okay? <laughs> so basically what mending does though, is that every time you gain experience from something and you have that item out or you're wearing that item, it'll absorb that experience and turn it back into health. So your item will never break. It's pretty OP. But for now, look at us guys, we're rolling in it. We got 40 diamonds. It's about time. Make some armor. Protect my noggin. Know what I'm saying? Gotta protect the, uh, the... <laughs> <clears throat> good and then the feet boom bam bow okay look how fresh we are and we still got 16 diamonds left over so like i said pretty much what i want to do is i want to go down into that cave and kind of like clear out that cave a little bit and inside that cave is where i'm going to make my fish farm well it's going to go chest room then fish farm i think i might just do ladders for right now oh look there's the cave already we already at the cave great always been a big fan of the double-sided ladders thing it looks aesthetic what i want to do though is i want to plug this up because i don't want to deal with anything coming in what's going to be my future chest Room. Then we're also going to temporarily plug this up because I don't want anything near me. So I'm going to very lazily just kind of like carve this out for now. It's going to be too much work and I'm going to end up doing it off camera because this is the boring stuff. All right. This is the stuff that you guys don't subscribe for. You guys subscribe for the quality content that I'm about to provide in just a second. Okay. I promise. This right here is just going to be kind of like the storage room. <clears throat> Didn't mean to get emotional about that. Sorry. As you guys can tell, just kind of carved out this room a little bit. I don't know why I'm not going down with it. I'm just kind of like low key scared. I'm going to create like a free falling system or with like water. I don't know. You boys, you boys making underwater stuff i gotta i gotta be way cooler than this Ooh, that was not something i was expecting this might halt production i hate that i want everything to be aesthetic because now i'm gonna be putting in all this extra time into just like cleaning out this stupid cave okay so it sounds kind of like there's a cave right next to me i'm gonna real quick kind of like punch through right here and see got a mine shaft right next to us boys okay Okay, it's gonna be some later exploring. Kind of glad that I start clearing this out now because now that that's just pff, that's more adventures, guys. That's more episodes of Minecraft. That's what that is. <laughs> All right, so some of you guys might call this ugly if you do your bald. Okay, so this is what we got going on here for now. I got this huge room for one stupid thing that doesn't need this much room. So guys, the goal here, what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm going to create the fish farm. Fish farm, I'll probably make it like right here. So what I'm gonna need is I'm gonna need a note block. I'm gonna need some water and I'm going to need a fence and a pressure plate and a trap door and a trap door got to make a trap door boom already got it pressure plate bam easy mode fence somehow already had one in my inventory oh, yeah, i was from the turtles wonder how the turtles are doing guys we got to check on the turtles get a real quick sleep i hear a creeper outside that's not creepers make sounds the eggs are gone this is what i'm saying why are they doing this do i have to actually sit here and watch them you have to like watch the eggs is that what it is or you want some too oh you better hurry up you better oh too late guy it's too late <laughs> okay I, I just i don't know what to do at this point what more can i do are they spawning they're spawning in here zambies are spawning in here that's the only explanation because it's not lit enough popped out a twofer oh and they're going at it now let me get out of the way calm down comment down below turtle experts did you get out of the pen you explain why you're not with your friends or are you trying to join the party are you mocking my are you mocking my family none of you get out or else you'll end up like him you'll look just like this huh back to the fish farm priorities paul priorities turtles are priorities <laughs> A uh, note block. Boom. Bam. So we got some hoppers. We got some chests. We got pretty much everything we're going to need. If the construction's correct, I could place this down. Boom. Place you right there. Break this block. Place my note block. Note block right here. Block on top of that. And then we place the trap door right here. I don't know if this is going to work fully. I think it has to be an iron trap door, possibly. We're going to place our chest down right here. We're going to place the hopper right there. So as you can tell, this little notch connects the hopper to the chest and then oh wait what i already have two hoppers it appears i've messed up and the chests go up here okay calm down everybody no need to panic okay so a little notch against the chest i guess i could just place these here because i plan on putting more chests here anyways yeah i need to place the water so now we have the hole in the front then now we place the water right there so now the water's flowing into that i could destroy this block this doesn't need to be here anymore and then we put the pressure plate on top nice okay wait do i have any string did i use the last of my string to make that bow last episode oh i need one more string we're gonna go get some string can't confirm it's not nighttime this poor little shack we're hardly even using it anymore i think i've just left, left like miscellaneous stuff in here nighttime is upon us it's time to slay the mobs time to go press some uh spoders what's that is that a spider couldn't be there it is 
Spider! <laughs> Come on, Spider! Spider! Oh, oh, it's three spiders. <laughs> Not what I asked for. Oh, gee, he has a shovel! Oh my gosh! I'm sorry! Oh, oh my gosh, there's so many spiders! Rolling up in the wrong neighborhood. You guys not realize I got diamond armor on? Go inside. So now we can make a fishing rod. Boom. Bam. Now what I think I might do is hopefully I get lure. Luck of the C2. Now that's important for this fish farm. And I might, I might get level 30 real quick so I could get that. I just might. You know, I could get some quick XP, guys. Just might go in here. There's four Free XP in here. We have to be very, very careful. Oh, wow. There's string literally right here. I knew it. I knew I should have just came in here. Let's just kind of do a little bit of exploring. A little bit of head poking. Why not? There's some zombies. You have a sword? <laughs> Get away from me. Oh, wait. Is this? Okay, we're not dealing with this yet. So there's a spider spawner at the end of this hallway. I want to turn that into a spider spawner farmer. Okay, that would be pretty sick. And it's literally right below my house. Stupid bat. Comment down below if you guys want me to do that in another episode is turn the spider spawner into a farmer because this would be OP. Oh wait, I have a genius idea. Let's see if this works. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour water in here. Water is gonna get rid of all of that and also keep the spiders off of me as well as it gets rid of a little bit. Oh gosh! This is it, isn't it? Don't you dare die on me. Poison's nothing, right? Poison's gone, no big deal. The water's gonna keep the spiders off of me as well as get rid of some of the cobwebs. This is gonna be my XP right here. This is, gonna, this is what I needed. And also I need to play some torch. Oh no, he's gonna get pushed towards me. Oh gosh. No, can't get to me. See, the water's helping. I'm like missing because I'm like, ah. what's up, homegirl? Trying to dance. Oh, he hit me again. Healing up, healing up, healing up. It's okay. You boys are professional. Don't worry. Making it so that they can't spawn by placing all these torches. Oh, and there's a chest back there. Totally worth it. Wait a second. Because I think I've stopped the spawning. What are you doing up there? And then now they shouldn't be able to spawn anymore from the spawning. But I think there's another one like right here or something. I hear him. There he is. Oh, he wants me. He wants blood. Oh gosh, he did it. He jumped. Sometimes they do that. And they do that crazy jump. Yeah, let's see. We got lure one. No way. That's actually perfect. That's actually perfect for what we're doing. So basically what lure one does is every time I cast out my rod, it has better odds of getting something val- or not valuable, but just in general. Like it makes it faster to be able to get something on your line. Honestly, playing this on hardcore makes everything just so much more intimidating because like usually you'd see these and you're like dude this is sick i want to go in here but me i'm just like i want to get out of this place right now this seems like it's pretty big too it seems like it just kind of keeps going on and on and on i'm just gonna go hit some coal call it a day oh here we go and boom level 30 now we just have to figure out how to get back yeah it's right here perfect so now that i'm level 30 i could do a level 30 enchantment as well as use that lure that i got i mean it's only lure one but it still is honestly really good the luck of the c2 and it's gonna give me something else Oh, give me lure two and unbreaking three and luck of the sea two. So guys, let me show you how broken this farm is. This not only gives me XP, it gives me rare items. It's just too good. So now the way this works is now, I, since I have the note block, I have the trap door and I have this, the pressure plate. This is a crucial pressure plate. When the pressure plate gets touched, the door opens. Now this block, every time you hit it, you can just hold it down. Okay, I'm just holding down my mouse button and it's able to perpetually hit, meaning I can perpetually cast out my line. Wait a second. Okay, so now I can perpetually cast out my line like that. And now it'll reel it back because the fact that I have my buoy thing, my, my buoy, my, my hook on the pressure plate, it's causing the door to be open. So now I can literally just place something down like uh, this handy dandy tripod I have. And look, no hands. Now I'm no hands, just fish farm. And I can let this run for hours. I can just AFK, let it run. And I get rare items. This isn't closing. What we're gonna do here, I'm gonna make a metal door. There we go. All right, now let's try this. Ah, there it is. So I'm gonna let this run for probably a couple hours. Wow, already caught something. Wait, hold on. Now I'm curious. What did I catch? What did I catch? What did I catch? Oh, just the raw salmon. I'm gonna let this run for a couple hours and we'll pick it up in the next episode. We'll see how this goes. That's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Look, this thing's literally still going. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you guys wanna hit that subscribe button down below if you guys are new here and hit the bell notification icon so that you guys get notified every time I upload. And I'll see you guys in the next one.